Thank you for joining me for the 2024 State of the City Address for the City of Cottage Grove. I'm Mayor Myron Bailey, and I've had the pleasure of serving as your mayor for the past 16 years. I'm very proud of the great work being done in our city. I'm excited to celebrate the success of our community has had over the past year and to talk about what is coming in 2024. First, I would like to thank my fellow council members who all come together to help guide our city to where it is today. I also want to thank our various commissions and committee members for investing your time and talents in helping the City Council guide our community into the future. I also want to thank all of our city employees for their hard work and dedication in making our city a safe and healthy place to live. We have the best employees serving all of us. They love our city as much as we do. I cannot start this address without also thanking the storytellers in our community, so thank you to the South Washington County Telecommunications Commission for their role in helping us tell the story of Cottage Grove. Their partnership and creativity help bring to life and tell the tale of many reasons why our city is such an amazing place to live, work, and play. They work to highlight the stories of the people in our community that contribute to the vitality of Cottage Grove and are part of the reason why we love to call Cottage Grove home. At the beginning of 2024, we reworked our mission statement for the city. Cottage Grove's mission statement is to promote community pride and create a high quality of life by providing excellence and delivery of public services to residents and businesses. How our city serves our residents and employees falls into three key pillars that flow from that mission, and they are to enhance the quality of life for residents, energize the business and tourism environment, and engage as an employer of choice. Following these guiding principles will help our city prosper now and into the future. Cottage Grove has seen growth over the past few years, including welcoming many new residents and businesses to our city. An important part of this growth is preserving and celebrating the history of our city. We have seen this preservation happening in multiple areas of our city and are actively pursuing the creation of a space at City Hall for our residents to view some of Cottage Grove's history. Being committed to providing life cycle housing and being a business friendly city is important to me and our city council. That is why it continues to be a focus as the city continues to prosper. Based on recent population estimates, we currently have just over 42,000 residents making Cottage Grove the 26th largest city in Minnesota. With the growth in our population, we continue to have retail developers and businesses reaching out to us looking for areas to expand. Also, as our population continues to grow, we are striving to bring more livable wage jobs to the city. Businesses that reside here continue to grow and we continue to welcome more businesses to our community. We have seen many community events occurring, which is a great opportunity to bring together our residents and visitors. I'm happy that we have such great volunteer groups and staff that work to coordinate these large and small scale events. So much of what we value in Cottage Grove is related to our community coming together. From the Strawberry Fest to the Pumpkin Chuck to the Holiday Train, we are lucky to have these events of all sizes and types for our residents to attend. These events are also a great opportunity for residents and visitors to experience the many great parks and open spaces that Cottage Grove has to offer during any time of the year. Within the past year, we have added two fantastic new community parks to the city. Glacial Valley Park, and a new park that includes access to the Mississippi River, which has been a city goal for decades. With the addition of these two new parks, we have over 2,600 acres of parks and open spaces in our community. That number translates to over 61 acres per 1,000 residents. You can tell from these numbers that our community values our open spaces, and this acreage puts us in the top tier of the Twin Cities metro area, communities for preserving parks and open space. We will continue to preserve land throughout our community for both active and passive recreational uses. We have heard from our residents through our reimagining recreation survey conducted over the past two years that the continued growth and diversity in our parks and recreation spaces is important to our citizens. As we move through this year, you will see a plan for our parks that has been put together based on your feedback and what you, our residents, envision some of our parks to become. To dig into more of the details, I'm going to start with historic preservation in Cottage Grove. In case you didn't know, the city has a commission called the Advisory Committee on Historic Preservation. The commission is made up of resident volunteers whose main purpose is to safeguard the cultural resources of the city by preserving sites, 
structures, districts, and landmarks which reflect our city's rich history. With the recent renovation of the homestead at Shepherd's Farm, the ACHP was involved with the approval of the upgrades to the building. Dodge Nature Center, which owns Shepherd Farm, continues to improve the property and has recently completed updates to the 1920s era farmhouse on site. The updates include a remodel and completion of two small additions consistent of office space, classrooms, and a 300 square foot addition to the kitchen. They also took this opportunity to add a sprinkler system in the building and made the building ADA accessible by installing an elevator. Dodge has thoughtfully developed the entire site to serve as a destination for agricultural and environmental education right here in Cottage Grove. In case you didn't know, they have free walking trails that are open to the public 365 days per year, a bee apiary, and a large community garden area, so make sure you visit this beautiful property in our community. Part of the duties of the ACHP also include sharing information on the rich history of Cottage Grove. In 2023, the ACHP approved the creation of a display case at City Hall focusing on specific aspects of the city's history. We are starting with the theme of schools of the past for the display due to how schools play a crucial role in the prosperity of not only our community, but of future generations. Four schools are going to be highlighted in the first version of the display case. A trifold brochure containing detailed information on the four schools will be available as well. The display case will also rotate throughout the year with new aspects of the city's history being featured, so make sure you stop by and check it out. We continue to welcome new residents to our community and 2023 was no different. Our continued efforts to bring life cycle housing to Cottage Grove was expanded by the addition of numerous housing projects last year. The Orilla is a new four-story, 171-unit market-rate apartment building on Hardwood Avenue that was completed this past fall. Work was also completed in the fall of 2023 on the View Apartment Building, which is a 31 units of market rate apartments on Hardwood Avenue. The city also approved some additional single family developments in 2023 that we are seeing construction on now. Ravine Crossing, which is located at the intersection of 90th Street and Keats Avenue, currently has a model home under construction in a development which will end up with 79 single family homes. In addition, construction of a model home is underway at Graymont Village, which is located south of 105th Street. This development will have 207 single-family homes, and the model should be ready by the Spring Parade of Homes. In looking ahead to 2024, the City Council recently approved a development by Trellis, which is a deeply affordable senior housing project that will be located across from the Park Grove Library. This building will be 52 units of age-restricted senior housing. Construction for this affordable senior housing is anticipated to begin in the spring. Another apartment building coming to Cottage Grove is a building by Norhart. This will be a 299 unit market rate apartment building located at the southeast corner of 100th Street and Hadley Avenue. This building will start construction this spring and it will be constructed in two phases over the next two years. There is one more apartment complex coming in 2024 that has been approved by the City Council, which will be a development by Roars. This complex will be located at 6850 East Point Douglas Road, which is near White Pine Senior Living and the Legend Senior Living. It will be a mix of income dependent and market rate housing. Construction is anticipated to start in summer of 2024 on this 144 unit apartment complex. As the city works its way into 2024 and reflects on the recent housing development within the community, it's a perfect time to plan for future growth within Cottage Grove. A large part of planning for growth is understanding the needs for housing and development within the community. A great planning tool to focus on the specific housing market trends and demands specifically within Cottage Grove is a housing market study. These studies are the perfect way to help plan for the most efficient growth within the community. Given the large adjustment in the growth and development within the city, a study specific to our community is imperative to better understand our current housing stock, current market trends, and the most beneficial housing programs for our community. This study can then be used to identify housing needs and areas within the city that would be appropriate for market rate, workforce, affordable, and senior housing to better guide those developments. We will be looking to begin the study in 2024. As the old economic development saying goes, retail follows rooftops, and that is what we are seeing in Cottage Grove as well. 
In 2023, we celebrated groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings for multiple companies joining the Goddage Grove community. We celebrated the ribbon cutting at Burn Boot Camp on East Point Douglas Road. We welcomed the Little Village to our community, which is a gathering space and indoor play area for our littlest residents and home to a great coffee shop. Home Choice, a furniture retailer, opened in Cottage Grove this past summer. Bride and Jewel, which as its name suggests, is a bride and prom dress shop, opened their beautiful location on West Point Douglas Road. We also had Alta Beauty and Cottage Grove Smiles open their locations in the mall by Hyvee, which now brings that mall to 100% occupied. Cottage Grove also had a few new restaurants opening, including the long-awaited and much-loved Pizza Ranch. If you haven't been there, you should try their chicken. We also welcomed Jersey Mike Subs to the city at their location on East Point Douglas Road. Basic Needs opened a great amenity in our community with their Basic Needs Food Market. The food market is one of their many local program offerings, which combats food insecurity with a walk-in, welcoming, dignity-based, choice-focused food market. Please make sure to share with others this important resource in our community. As we look to 2024, there are many projects already underway that we expect to open this year. The Baskin Robbins and Dunkin Donuts location across from Grove 80 is well underway. Plans have been approved for Discount Tire to take over the Big O Tire location off Jamaica Avenue. A few things are currently under construction right now, including Chase Bank, which is building in between Culver's and U.S. Bank, along with o to be Kids Daycare, which is on Hardwood Avenue behind Kohl's. Gerber Collision and Glass will also begin building this year on a vacant parcel on West Point Douglas Road. There is a developer that is interested in the future shops at Cottageview site, and we are working with them on a plan for the 73 acres that used to be the Cottageview drive-in. We know there are more retail stores and restaurants that are looking for their ideal space in the city, and we continue to work with those who would like to bring their business to Cottage Grove. Our current retail vacancy rate is 6%, which is extremely low. This is why we are focusing on getting the shops at Cottage View started, along with working with some other locations within the city for redevelopment opportunities. There has been a lot of activity happening in the city's business park as well. I know that everyone is excited that Quick Trip will finally be coming to Cottage Grove. They will be purchasing the land that the Compo site currently sits on, on the corner of 95th Street and Jamaica Avenue. Not to worry though, we have worked with Rumpkas, who runs the Compo site, and found them a new location which is adjacent to the land where they currently operate. The only thing is you're going to have to wait until 2025 for Quick Trip to open. There has also been some expansions and new businesses joining the business park. In 2023, we celebrated a groundbreaking for R.J. Shinner, which will be a new addition to the northwest corner of the business park this year. They are the largest independent redistributor of paper, food service, and janitorial products in the United States. On the southwest corner of 95th Street and Jamaica Avenue, Holmsteins will be relocating their beverage distribution company from Woodbury. They are a wholesale distributor of adult beverages who broke ground in 2023 and are well on their way to completing their building. Hemingway Industrial Center was completed and has two new buildings available for lease on 97th Street. Cottage Grove Logistics Park has two buildings completed as well and Van Meter has expanded their operations into one of those buildings in that location. In 2024, Lumbermen's, which is a building materials distributor, will be joining the Cottage Grove Logistics Park. There are also businesses in our business park that have expanded their operations in 2023. Renewal by Anderson completed the fourth expansion of their building last year. Trade Home Shoes and Leafline Labs both expanded their current location with Leafline more than doubling in size. All this growth shows that there is a demand for the space in our business park and we continue to plan for strategic growth in the business park. In the fall of 2023, and just south of the business park, the city broke ground on our first of two permanent water treatment facilities. The low zone water treatment facility is scheduled to be operational in summer of 2025. The total cost of this facility is approximately 39 million and will be paid for in full by the 3M settlement dollars. While the facility is being built, the city will continue to provide 100% treated water to our residents from our interim water treatment plants. Since we are talking about funding sources, I thought this might be a great time to share with you how important it is to the city council and city staff to work to keep the city's portion of your taxes low. 
When comparing city taxes on the median home in each community, Cottage Grove residents pay the second lowest city tax in Washington County. A resident in the median home in Cottage Grove will pay approximately $1,173 in 2024. The only city lower than Cottage Grove is St. Paul Park, and they receive significant local government aid, which we do not. In the Twin Cities metro area, we have the third lowest taxes for cities over 40,000 when comparing the median home to each city. Our goal has always been to be conservative in our budgeting, yet keep the high level of services you've come to expect in Cottage Grove. The city has been working with Washington County on the proposed County Road 19A and 100th Street realignment. The realignment from Highway 61 at Innovation Road to Jamaica Avenue will help to alleviate pressures on the existing Jamaica Avenue roundabouts and provide a direct connection to our business park and future growth. This project will provide for enhanced safety features of a grade separated bridge over the CPKC railroad tracks, added turn lanes, and bike trails on both sides of the road to connect Cottage Grove Ravine Regional Park to our newest park, Mississippi Dunes Reserve. The realignment of County Road 19A and 100th Street also opens the area for future development, which is why we're going to be completing a small area study of the area surrounding the realignment. The intent of the small area plan is to provide a framework for future development along the realigned 100th Street corridor. The study will include a market analysis that will be used to identify the most achievable land uses for this corridor. The study area is approximately 270 acres located south of the West Point Douglas Road from the City of Cottage Grove Public Works facility to the area around the Reliant 100 Street to Highway 61. As many of you are keenly aware, we began the two-year construction project of redoing the intersection of Jamaica Avenue and East Point Douglas Road. Phase one was completed in 2023, and phase two will be completed in 2024. We are adding a roundabout near Ashland Credit Union and Cub Foods. We will be adding new lighting and completing a mill and overlay of that pavement down to the VFW. We will also be mill and overlaying Jamaica Avenue from 90th Street to 80th Street to finish off work in this area of town. All of this work will significantly reduce congestion in this area and allow for better flow of traffic. Thank you for your continued patience as we finish up this very important project in 2024. I also want to make a comment about the purple lights you may have seen around town. This defect with the LED lights is a national issue and the supplier will be replacing them with new bulbs at their expense. You will finally see the purple lights around town disappearing within the next few months. Now one of my favorite things to brag about in Cottage Grove is our events and celebrations. These events are all about bringing our community together and we have a lot of them. Our biggest celebration of the year, the Cottage Grove Strawberry Fest, takes place in June each year, with 2024 being no different. It is a four-day family-focused event full of food, fantastic bands, and a carnival, and of course, a festive parade that takes place on Saturday morning. I can't wait to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Strawberry Fest in 2024, which will happen at Kingston Park from June 20th through June 23rd. Thank you to all the volunteers that put this together to make this such a great community event. It would not happen without you. Discover Cottage Grove, the city's Convention and Visitors Bureau, along with the St. Saint Paul Saints, hosted the Cottage Grove Community Night in June of last year at CHS Field. It was a fun night to get out to the ballpark and spread the word about Cottage Grove and all the events and happenings here. Keep an eye on the Discover Cottage Grove calendar for our Cottage Grove Community Night at the Saints game in 2024. The Cottage Grove Lions hosted the annual 4th of July picnic and fireworks at Kingston Park. It was an evening of food, family, and fun with the spectacular fireworks display at dusk. It is always a fun way to celebrate the summer holiday. Discover Cottage Grove hosted the inaugural food truck festival this past September at Kingston Park. We had over 25 food trucks that attendees could choose from, as well as bouncy houses for the kids and a cornhole tournament for the adults. This event brought roughly 6,000 people to one of our most popular parks for people to enjoy food, fun, and some live music. Be sure to mark your calendar for the return of this event in 2024 on Saturday, September 14th. As you may have seen on our city's Facebook page, world-renowned folk artist and puzzle maker Eric Dowdle recently visited Cottage Grove. The Economic Development Authority, in partnership with the Convention and Visitors Bureau, have commissioned Dowdle Studios to do a signature folk art painting of our city. 
During his visit, Eric was able to tour all the places that make our city great and talk to residents and business owners to gather information on what makes our city special. Work is currently underway for them on the project and we look forward to Eric's return visit during the 2024 Discover Cottage Grove Food Truck Festival in September for the unveiling of the painting. We will also have puzzles of the paintings for sale at the event so you can own your own little piece of artwork of Cottage Grove. A couple of our fall events, including the Monster Bash Parade, which is hosted by Strawberry Fest, along with the city's own Pumpkin Chuck event, the 14th annual Monster Bash Parade took place the Saturday before Halloween. So many community members showed up in costume to enjoy the parade along East Point Douglas Road and grab candy as it was tossed from the decorated floats. The free Pumpkin Chuck event offers a creative way for residents to get rid of their pumpkins after Halloween. Lots of families showed up to the chuck, toss and roll pumpkins down the hill. Afterwards, our public works crew brings them to the compost site. Both of these fun events are returning in 2024. Now, if you know me, you know Christmas is my most favorite time of the year, and I often get called by my nickname, which is Mayor Christmas. Cottage Grove has many great events around the holiday season, two of which I will highlight today. In November, this past year, the city hosted the second annual hometown holiday celebration. It was a night filled with holiday cheer. Attendees got to visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus and their live reindeer helpers. We also had food trucks, kids activities, bonfires, wagon rides, and holiday choral music from Park High School. Planning has already begun for the 2024 event, so watch the city's calendar and social media pages for the dates once we get closer to the holiday season. The largest holiday event in the city is the arrival of the Canadian Pacific Kansas City Holiday Train. The popular CPKC Holiday Train chugs into town in December as part of the fundraising for the Friends in Need food shelf. From what we have been told, Cottage Grove is the largest stop on their trip across North America, and we are proud of the turnout at this event every year. As a community, we set a record and raised $173,276.59 and over 2,100 pounds of food that will support local families. Thank you to the group of volunteers that coordinate all the events leading up to and including the event the day of the train's arrival. We look forward to the return of the CPKC Holiday Train in 2024, so keep an eye on the Cottage Grove Holiday Train Facebook page later this year for the date to be released. We have a few other things to celebrate this past year. One thing to celebrate is Cottage Grove being designated a HeartSafe community. The partnership with HeartSafe Communities increases community and public awareness, placing automated external defibrillators, or AEDs, where people live, work, and play, and educate the public on how to administer CPR. This designation was announced at a council meeting in December, and you will start to see the logo going up on signs around town soon. It took the entire community to help achieve this goal. Dozens of community groups and local businesses hosted CPR training for their employees or members, and since 2022, over 2,100 people have been trained in CPR, and over 60 AEDs were identified throughout the Heart Safe City designation process in Cottage Grove. A special thank you to Teddy's Heart Foundation, who is an incredible partner in our Heart Safe community accomplishment, but there's more to the Teddy's Heart story. In May of 2023, a dedication ceremony was held at Woodridge Park to honor and celebrate the life of Teddy Dowdle, who passed away from a sudden cardiac arrest while playing basketball at the park. His family started Teddy's Heart Foundation to raise money to be able to install AED stations in area parks. Their mission is to provide training to the community on AED communication and usage and to fundraise and place AEDs in public athletic parks and places. This will allow us to give persons that have a sudden cardiac arrest a much better chance at survival, and we do this in a legacy of Teddy Dowdle. So far, we have eight parks with publicly accessible AEDs, thanks to three donated by Teddy's Heart and the five donated by the Cottage Grove Athletic Association. The Cottage Grove Athletic Association has also donated two that are within park buildings and are accessible during sports practices for coaches to use if necessary. We are grateful to these two organizations for caring so much about our residents and community. Speaking of parks, Cottage Grove continues to expand our community park offerings to residents and visitors because we are a recreation destination and want to continue to enhance our parks. 
If you had not seen it yet, you need to check out the new Glacial Valley Park that the city recently completed construction on. This community park is home to a large playground, picnic shelters, sports fields, an ice rink, a basketball court, six pickleball courts, and a beautiful new 4,000 square foot building with a beautiful mural in the entryway, which was hand painted by local artist Kata Creative. The building is designed for multi-use programming and public rentals, creating outdoor connections and sustainability by utilizing solar energy systems. Glacial Valley is adjacent to over 100 acres of continuous prairie and wetland green spaces with both paved and natural trails abound. Cottage Grove has worked extremely hard over the past few years to protect nearly 40 acres of public green space with 1,900 plus feet of shoreline at the former Mississippi Dunes golf course site. The purchase of this property was a significant milestone in our quest to increase public access to the Mississippi River in Cottage Grove. Most of the land is being preserved as natural open space to protect and enhance the habitat of this riverfront property. A smaller portion of the park is being reserved for active recreational activity, which are proposed to include a building, playground, picnic facilities, trails, outdoor classroom space, fishing opportunities, and a boat launch. This land, which is adjacent to the Great Cloud Dunes Scientific and Natural Area, will preserve the beauty and availability of this area for generations to come. We also had the opportunity to have a local business sponsorship of one of the sheets of ice at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. Thank you to North Point Development for your significant sponsorship, which supports the Cottage Grove Ice Arena by being the North Rink sponsor. This sponsorship will provide additional funding to upgrade and maintain our ice arena without using taxpayer dollars. We have the South and West Rinks that can be sponsored as well, so if you know of a business who might be interested, let me know. Our city is not just a great place to live, it's a destination where recreation takes center stage. Vibrant and healthy communities provide residents and families with places to connect, thrive, and play. That's why we're committed to enhancing our parks, recreational activities, and natural habitat. In 2022, we embarked on a journey to reimagine recreation. During this time, we listened as residents shared their desires for a wider array of recreational opportunities and family-oriented activities, preserving our great outdoors, and enhancing connections to parks and nature to serve people of all ages and abilities. Based on this feedback, research, and planning, we had developed a plan to elevate our parks, recreation, and outdoor spaces. Imagine a renovated Hamlet Park that serves as a central gathering hub for our community, providing activities for all ages. Picture Mississippi Dunes Park with enhanced trails, river access, and exciting outdoor recreation and educational activities. Envision River Oaks Golf Course and Event Center transformed to a family-friendly haven. This plan requires a stable funding source that does not increase property taxes. The state legislature authorized the city to seek residential approval for a half percent local sales tax this November to fund up to $36 million in bonds for these projects. A sales tax increase would spread the cost of this investment among residents and non-residents who make purchases in the city and often use our amenities. As we look ahead, this plan provides a path for building a more vibrant city that encourages play and supports active living while boosting community pride and our local economy. I encourage you to learn more about this plan as the city shares additional information in the coming weeks and to voice your feedback to help us build a brighter future for parks and recreation in Cottage Grove. I want to thank everyone for making 2023 another outstanding year in Cottage Grove. We have accomplished many things together, and I look forward to all the great things that 2024 will bring to our community. On behalf of your city council, I'm Mayor Myron Bailey.